Does food call to you? Like you're sitting on the couch and the ice cream is calling to you from the freezer or the chocolate's calling to you from the cupboard or the cookies are calling to you from the store down the street. If so, then this video was made for you because there is so much information out there connecting your cravings to your brain chemistry and how understanding your nutritional needs can help you to not eat certain foods you crave. And all I know from personal experience is that when you have an obsessive, compulsive, addictive need to drive to the store for that jar of peanut butter or to go get that bag of chips or to go buy those bars of chocolate, no amount of understanding your brain chemistry or nutritional needs is going to stop you in the moment. You're just going to say, I don't care, and you're going to go and do it anyway, which is why in this video, I'm going to share with you how to actually get free from your food cravings for good. Yes, you can get free from your food cravings, not just learn how to resist them or not give in to them. So if that's something you want to learn more about, then make sure to like this video so I know to make more videos like this for you. And hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified every time I post a new video. And if you're returning to this channel, I'm so glad that you are here. So lovely to be here with you. If you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Debbie Lichter. I'm a food addiction expert and founder of the Freedom Embodied Academy, where I help women who know what to do when it comes to their struggle with food, but who still get stuck in sabotage actually have freedom from food addiction and food obsession so that you can feel comfortable in your skin and have the confidence to authentically shine your light in the world. And everything that I share on this channel is part of what helped me to get free from my food addiction and food obsession over a decade ago and things that I've been sharing with women ever since to help them get on their path of freedom too. Okay, so how do we get free from cravings for good? Well, to understand that, we first have to understand why we crave certain foods in the first place. Now, there'll be many people who will say that we crave certain foods because of the chemicals, the addictive chemicals in those foods, or because we're tired, or because we're stressed, or because we're lacking certain nutrients. And all that is fine and well, but what I find is that when we go down that pathway of analysis, it leads us to trying to manage our cravings with substitutions or supplements or trying to reduce our stress, but it doesn't actually have us get free from our cravings. So what I want to share with you instead is the breakthrough realization that actually put me on my path of getting free from my cravings over a decade ago. Here it is. We crave certain foods, not because of the chemicals in the food, but because of the effect produced by those foods. Let me explain. Let's say you're fantasizing about tearing into a bar or three of chocolate after a long day where you've been overworked and feeling totally underappreciated. So in that moment, you're craving the chocolate because the effect that that chocolate will produce is one of pleasure and reward. Or let's say that you are mad at yourself or embarrassed about something that you did. And so you're craving popcorn or chips or ice cream. You know, in the moment, you're craving these things because the effect that you associate with those things is going to produce a feeling of comfort or solace. Or let's say that you have experienced some trauma in your past that had you feeling unsafe. You might be craving certain foods because they will give you a sense of safety. Or let's say that you're feeling lost or empty or don't know who you are and just going through the motions of your life. You crave certain foods because they literally will have you feeling filled up inside or will have you feel distracted or just numb out so that you don't have to deal with those uncomfortable feelings. This is so important to get because once you can understand that it's not the food that's the issue, but it's the effect that certain foods produce that's the issue, you can stop trying to fix and manage the food and instead put your attention on addressing what's going on inside that is creating the need in you to reward yourself, to comfort yourself, to distract yourself, to numb yourself, to create a sense of internal safety because this is your true path of actual freedom from the cravings, freedom from food, freedom from the problem for good. Because when you get free from the dynamics that are having you overwork and feel underappreciated, you're no longer going to need to reward yourself at the end of the day. When you get free from the remorse and the regret and the shame that is currently driving you to want to distract or numb out or comfort yourself, you're no longer going to crave that popcorn or those chips or that ice cream. When you can intrinsically feel safe inside of your body and inside of yourself, you're no longer going to crave those foods that had you feeling safe and like wrapped up in a little cocoon 
own. When you are feeling intrinsically filled up inside, knowing who you are, feeling on purpose, you are no longer going to crave that need to mindlessly fill up on food. This is what has the cravings go away. Not because you learned how to substitute almonds for French fries, but because the things that were driving you to crave those foods in the first place are no longer there. And so the problem goes away. If this is making sense to you, drop a comment below. And if this is resonating with you, I want to share with you three things that you can do right now to put you on your path of starting to get free from food cravings for good. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is get honest with yourself about the real problem. So you might tell yourself right now, I'm craving certain foods because I'm stressed or because I'm tired, but I'm going to invite you to consider if there might be something deeper going on. So a great resource that can help you in that exploration is this video right here. I'm going to also leave a couple more links to more videos in the description below that can help you on that path. But I highly recommend that you just consider this for yourself. The second thing that you're going to want to do is to set aside everything that you think you know. Here's the truth is that everything that you think you know, all the tools, all the knowledge, all the information has brought you to where you are right now. But if you're wanting a new level of freedom from food and a new level of freedom from your cravings, it's going to require you to get a new set of tools and an entirely new approach. So just set aside everything that you think you know, open yourself up for a new experience. And that brings me to the third thing that you're gonna to wanna to do, which is to seek help. To seek help from someone who can guide you along a proven pathway whereby you can regain access to an internal experience of feeling safe inside, of feeling at ease and at comfort inside of yourself, of feeling intrinsically filled up and okay no matter what is going on around you because I can tell you that when you embody these qualities internally, you will no longer need to go to food to fill up for a sense of reward or a sense of comfort or a sense of safety. The problem will go away. So now you know what drives us to crave certain foods and what to do to get on your path of truly having freedom from your food cravings. So if you got some value here today, please do give this video a like. I will leave some more resources for you in the description box below. I recommend that you watch this video next and I cannot wait to see you next time.